The Liguria region, home to the Cinque Terre, Portofino, and Genoa, extends from the French Riviera to the shores of Tuscany. Due to Liguria's location on the coast, seafood and fish play a significant role in the local diet. While many of the region's well-known dishes and recipes were created or first consumed aboard ships or by fishermen, if you are not a big fan of seafood, Liguria is also renowned for its herbs, particularly basil and rosemary, wine, olive oil, and other delicious dishes positively influenced by the sea breezes and mineral-rich soils. Welcome back to Town Travel Tips. In today's video, we will discover what locals eat in Liguria and what you cannot miss out on on your next trip to Genoa or Cinque Terre. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, and prepare your stomach for a gorgeous food trip. From Saremo to Cinque Terre, from the coast to the inland region, the number one dish for Liguria has always been, and always will be, pesto. Basil from Pra, a small fraction of Genoa, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, parmigiano reggiano, pecorino cheese, and pine nuts are the ingredients of the real pesto genovese. The sauce, not greasy and with a good balance between acidity and sweetness, is easy to make and does not require any cooking time. Pesto is believed to have had its beginnings with the ancient Romans, who consumed a sauce known as muretum that was produced by chopping up ingredients like cheese, herbs, and garlic. Nowadays, the typical matches for pesto are trofi and tranette, or linguine. Trofi is a fresh type of pasta that dates back to the Crusades, prepared using water and wheat flour, and shaped by rolling out a little portion of the dough on a flat surface. The best trofi al pesto in town? Locals head to Trattoria Rosa Marino in Genoa, Trattoria La Ruota, and Trattoria della Ciughetta in Genoa. Number 2. Focaccia Loved by adults and kids, focaccia is a staple food that has to be present on a daily basis on the tables of the locals. Focaccia is a bread that has been flattened, similar to a pizza without tomato sauce, with simple ingredients such as flour, olive oil, water, a tiny amount of yeast, and salt. The term focaccia is derived from the Latin panis focaccius, which means that already 20 centuries ago, this oily, salty, and delicious bread was on the tables of the locals. The Romans brought focaccia with them as they began to extend their empire into France and Spain, which helped to increase its appeal throughout continental Europe. Modern focaccia toppings include rosemary, sage, garlic, cheese, and onions for the savory variety, and honey, raisins, sugar, and lemon peel for the sweet ones. Focaccia e dintorni in Genoa, Panificio Mario also in Genoa, and Motedo 1874 in Reco are the places to go for a traditional slice of delicious focaccia. Number 3. Focaccia di Recco This delicious focaccia with cheese inside comes from Recco, where it can be found in every bakery, pizzeria, and eatery. It is said to have been created in the 12th century, when the people of Recco, according to folklore, were cooking this dish for the crusaders with the little that they had – flour, water, olive oil, and some cheese. It is thinner compared to regular focaccia, and crescenza, a cow-soft cheese, is the special ingredient used for the filling. Where can you find this amazing dish? Check out La Manuelina in Recco, Tosini in Genova, and La Baracchetta di Biagio in Recco. Number 4. Panzotti Panzotti are a perfect illustration of Ligurian cuisine. They are native to the region, real, uncomplicated, but always incredibly delicious. Ricotta, spinach, herbs, and greens make up the filling of panzotti, which are the Ligurian version of ravioli. Salsa di noci, 
A walnut sauce that is usually served with this fresh pasta creates a creamy, hearty dish that is a delight to eat. Originally, pre bujunya, a mixture of wild herbs, and pre shinsewa, a local fresh cheese that is similar to ricotta, were used for the filling. Nowadays, these ingredients are difficult to be found, even in Liguria, so the recipe has been adjusted to use ricotta and spinach. Do you want to taste the real deal when it comes to panzotti? La brinca in Nervi, Uliveto in Monelia, and Da Fiorella in Ortonovo are the places to go. And last but not least in our top 5 list, Torta Pasqualina. Green chard, parmesan, ricotta, and other herbs are combined with a thin layer of pastry. The filling is then indented with eggs and butter. Sounds delicious enough already! That's the Torta Pasqualina, or Easter pie, made in Liguria. In the Catalogue of the Inventors of Things You Eat and Drink, Hortensius Lando cites Pasqualina in a document from 1500, praising it so much and certifying the Ligurian origins of this amazing dish. Variants of the original recipes include rice or artichokes replacing the spinach, and you will find several bakeries all across the Italian Riviera selling these deliciously salty pies. Our top suggestions? Antica Frigiatoria Carega in Genoa, Antica Chiamada in Genoa, and Farinata Santa Zita in Genoa. Are you wondering what the bonus food of this video will be? Well, a dish that cannot be ignored didn't make the top 5, but cannot be forgotten from this list, the farinata. A simple flatbread baked in the oven using only chickpea flour, water, extra virgin olive oil, and salt makes up this classic Ligurian delicacy. The invention of farinata as we know it today is credited to the Republic of Genoa's victory against Pisa in August of 1284. The Genoese ships were caught in a storm while returning home, and some of the barrels containing the chickpea flour and olive oil cracked. The two products were then combined together and soaked with salty seawater. Realizing they had nothing else to eat on the open sea, the sailors dried this combination in the sun and ate it. Regardless of being a legend or not, today, farinata can be eaten in every bakery, and it is an amazing Ligurian street food. Those were our top Ligurian foods! Leave a comment on other dishes that are worth a try in Genoa or nearby, and have a look down below at our 48 hours itinerary for a great trip to the Italian Riviera. That's it for today's video. If you liked the video, smash that like button and subscribe to make our channel grow. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, take care and ciao.